Dude, who do you ever work with anybody who's just like you're like, oh, that dude bleeds too much, man. I don't want to work with him. <laughs> I mean, I I'll never say I don't want to work with him. Oh yeah, yeah. But there is someone. Uh, I mean, I love all the guys I work with, or I oh, wouldn't work with them. Yeah. But we know already. He knows it too. Our man, the damage, Darren Elkins. Oh, that guy can his, bleed. He'll say it to himself. <laughs> yeah. If you sneeze on me or look at me wrong, I'm gonna bleed. So is that scar tissue? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So it's yeah. just. It's He's one happen. of the toughest guys we know, but yeah, I just scar. He'll he bleed no matter what. He had one of the greatest what. comebacks I've ever seen. What fight was Mirasad that? Back to, yeah, <laughs> uh-huh. that was a fight for the ages, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. What what is it? What is it with him? Like what is it? Just internal? You just you can't you just heart? can't make that. Same with this guy. Like, they're different. You know, you can't you can't make that. They're all they're exceptional. There's just they're one in a million. <laughs> yeah, you mean when Josh fought I mean, Josh with a spaghetti for knee or, or his knee. uh bone poked out of his finger like what? no I don't know that story so your bone <laughs> that, was that, that was my debut uh so it was uh Four I haven't notice. told you that yeah the whole, whole story behind that no, no. so it's I like didn't, oh, obviously man. I was trying to get in the UFC trying to get in the UFC <laughs> it was like I was so close every time and then uh you know I was training one day I got a call from at the time it was Joe Silva one of the matchmakers um he he called me and said hey or actually called my manager at the time then he put me on a three-way call and he said hey josh you want to you want to fight in the netherlands i was like oh this is my time i was like yeah of course like you know i'm talking to him doing all this stuff yeah exactly (laughs) yeah Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly so i'm I'm like yeah of course i was super excited and then whatever we, we end up getting off the phone and then i i hung up and and then I was like, damn it, I didn't even ask him who I'm fighting. I didn't ask him when I'm fighting. And then later on, my uh, my manager called me back and he's like, hey man, you, you gotta get everything going and packed and stuff like that. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, you're fighting this Saturday. This is like Tuesday. In the Netherlands? In the Netherlands. Yeah. And you were in Sacramento? Yeah, I was training, yeah. So I was like, <laughs> shit. I didn't know who I was fighting, so I called him back like, hey, who am I fighting, by the way? <laughs> and he's like, John Tuck. So he was, he was, you know, was good. A, a good fighter. And this is when I was fighting at lightweight. I got in at 155. And uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't care who I was fighting at the time. Yeah. I was like, I'd fight it's your shot. just to get my foot in the door. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so I went home. I literally packed up. Luckily, I had my passport, even though I've never left out of the country. <laughs> I just got it maybe a few years ago because my wife and I's plan was to go on our honeymoon yeah. out of the country. So if I didn't have that, that would have kind of spoiled the plan as well. But I, uh, I hopped on a plan, plan f- plane, flew to uh, Amsterdam, and then we you know, drove to Rotterdam. I, I cut weight, made weight, and then uh, fought what a few days later. What were you waiting later. at like, before, when you got the call? Uh, probably like one, 170, you know, 170. And you got down to 155? 155. 155 uh, in a few days. I didn't sleep at all because the time changed. I was so excited. How do you do like, that? I literally did not sleep in like 72 hours. Um, that made you lose weight? No, I, I cut water, water weight. Yeah, it made it harder because then you have like all your cortisol levels oh, riding. Oh, okay. But I, I just. It's but, hard. It's yeah, just hard. Yeah, but it was it was fine though because I was just excited and the time change was so okay. different. So I couldn't sleep and I was just stoked about the entire experience and like I'm finally here. I w- all these people, journalists writing articles like, oh, who's this guy, Josh Emmett? He's going to get killed by John Tuck. He's going to run through him. But like my my teammates, my coaches, my family and friends, like they, they know me. Mm-hmm. Like, And that's the only people that <laughs> matter to me. You know what I mean? All these other people saying stuff that don't know me. So I'm like, I was going over there to to win i was like i don't care what happens I, i'm winning my my debut in the ufc and it turned out to be even better because i i went in there i was completely outclassing this guy that's supposed to you know Rainbow, walk through me rounds, yeah. yeah beating the hell out of him in the first and second round feeling good in the third round he he goes to kick me and i kind of block it like parry it a different way and it hits my ring finger and it completely just snaps it. so my bone's sticking out it's it's out of the hang- skin. yeah out of the skin it's hanging from the thread of my skin every time i go to block a punch i have to keep looking over my left shoulder but, because i think he kicks my finger off because the, the so you want to see where it lands yeah no because literally i'd block it it would literally flap the top of my finger would hit the back of the glove it was literally hanging on and so i was like i saw it and i was like shit so i had to start moving around a lot and then the the ref at the time I think he saw it, but then he stopped the fight for a sec, and I had to hide my I think hand. You got kicked low. Yeah, I had to hide. Oh yeah, I got I got kicked in the groin. So he stopped it, and he's like, "Hey, are you doing okay?" And I said, "Yep, I'm ready to go." No, it's I, good. It's good. I, I well, hid my hid hand, hand behind me because I knew they would stop the fight if they saw that. So me, can I miss slow down here? Yeah, yeah. So is it this knuckle here? No, the first knuckle. It's right here. I have the scar. It's under my so knuckle. The middle knuckle of yeah. your ring finger. Came out. Yeah, like that's. 
So didn't the glove cover this or no? Uh -oh, your fingers are out. Yeah, your oh, fingers your are out. Totally. Okay. So the bone was literally sticking through here, and then my it was it was out. So it just kept hitting. Like so the glove he, so, would stop it. Every so time the I opponent was. saw it. I, I don't think he did because I hit it pretty well and I started moving a lot. Because you, you know? don't want your opponent to see that, right? You no. could just Start. tell something was up because momentum shifted. Like it went from Josh chasing him around and beating the hell out of him for two rounds to now Josh circling away, circling away. Okay. And he knows something is up. Okay. But then I'm just throwing right hands, overhand. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I don't care. Still fighting. I'm blocking stuff, trying to still finish him. But <laughs> I was like, there was nothing getting in my way of winning. And I was like, I don't care if I lost the damn thing in that, you know? <laughs> the finger. Uh, yeah. And then, and then it blew up even more, you know, with all that because then the time people found out what had happened after mm -hmm. um the fight and then it kind of went viral i guess i was like the number one thing trending Are there on pictures twitter online Danny even yeah. put on his eye. You can look at it. Yeah, yeah like I'll, I'll have to show you, but I'll send it to you. We'll put it up. Yeah. We'll put it up on the YouTube. Yeah, it, it was pretty pretty it's, insane. So I was like, but I, I was lucky that it didn't ruin any of the ligaments, the tendons, yeah. stuff like that. So um, you know, they stitched it up, they put me in a cast, and then that's when like my wife and I were out in Rotterdam, the first time ever being out of the country. Mm -hmm. Then we're like man, let's go check out some stuff. So she talked to her boss and they they gave her another week. And then we just went to the train station. We're like, what's a neat place in Europe? They're like, Germany is pretty cool. So we so we <laughs> went out we went out to Germany for a few days. And then we, um, yeah, it was, it was just an amazing time. And then back finger, to Rotterdam. And, and your finger's fine now. But yeah, going, yeah. Going back to that though too, like being, like I said, how tough these guys are. Like I've yeah. seen some shit that these guys have done and, and that, and especially when he, when he won his debut at a higher weight class on four days notice, finger poking out, he finished the fight. And when first, anyone else would have just quit, they'd have looked yeah. and dropped their knees and quit right then and oh, there. Oh, totally. He finishes the fight. Then he goes out and like he's looking, signal, letting everybody know what's going on in the corner. I wasn't there. I didn't have my passport at the time, but I was watching on TV and I knew something. I know him. But um, he finishes the fight. The commission at the time sees it and is like, holy shit, almost throws up. He sees how bad it is. They're like, oh, we got to get you the, to, the, to the hospital right away. And he's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Nah, let's slow down. He wanted to get on the damn mic and finish. That was his interview. dream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a dream to get the win and get that interview. Yeah. You know, so he made sure, like yeah. fucking finger falling out. Everyone yeah. panicking. He's like, nah, it's. it's cool. I, I, I did. I forgot about that because yeah, they were like, oh, let's get him out, get him out, get him yeah. out. I said, I'm all right, man. I just going. finished the round. Like, be great don't room? Work. Uh, yeah, afterwards. Yeah. No, no, they, they actually took me right to the okay, right. But you got also. in the middle of the he ring. It, like, yeah, well, I got to do my of... interview and I, I yeah. put it up there. You know what I mean? Just to show people like dream. why I, I didn't finish the fight. Um, so you got a decision. Yeah, it was, was going to finish from that. Yeah. yeah, 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 I got a decision. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching and or listening. And if you want to catch all the latest updates, uh, make sure you bang on that subscribe button.